let's take a break on the uh, the boolean types, the if statement, the relational operators, all the all the logical stuff here. And I want to talk about multi, uh, doing some arithmetic with different variable types. So let's say I had a variables an apple, oranges, and bananas. I have three different variables that are of the type int. Let's say I had float, let's say I had cash, and, and um, mass here. Just, just different variables here. And let's say this is equal to 3. This is equal to 5. This is equal to 7. Let's say this is equal to 2.7 2 2 or 7, 8. And this is equal to 9.815. Just random numbers. So we already know what will happen if I try to divide bananas divided by apples here. And um, <clears throat> if we uh, take 7 divided by 3, we'll get 2 and a third. But unfortunately, we're only going to get 2 because we're only dividing 2 ints here. Because <clears throat> these are two both integer type variables here, we're going to get an integer answer. Now what if we divided mass over apples here for whatever reason? We're going to get 9.81 divided by 3. Well, what will it output? Will it output an integer type or a float type? It'll actually output a float type variable. Why is that? Because <clears throat> that's just the rules. If you multiply an integer type variable with a float type variable, automatically it converts it to a float type. So if you have an integer and a mass together, it automatically turns into a float. Okay. So I just want to let you know that here. We've got the multiplication here. It'll just turn them both into a float. Now apples are still just an int type here. But it won't... Um, It'll just, just when you output this arithmetic here, it'll be of the type float. And, uh, this, I wanted to, that's what I wanted to show you in this lesson here. And, um, I think, uh, you will be able to click here for the, uh, the practice lesson. Basically, I'll just give you two or three, uh, practice codes here and you'll try to write them here. So go ahead and click here um, to try and write these programs that I'm going to tell you to write. So hope you enjoyed this one. And um, this is optional here. You don't have to click here. It's just optional practice here. So if you understand what's going on here, just go on and move on to the next lesson here. But this is just a practice here to, to sharpen you up here. So moving on